Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's logo design tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can we design this logo by using Inkscape from very start to the very finish. This logo is the combination of two elements, wings and a nut. Now let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file and select the document properties. Select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then change the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then click on this icon. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for almost each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu and the second one is align and distribute menu. Then click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Then select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. Now it doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color or you can say a boundary color by holding down the shift key and clicking on this black color like this and if you want to change the thickness of this stroke then simply go to fill and stroke menu then go to stroke style set the unit to pixels and change the width to say 4 pixels and press enter then select the create stars and polygons tool and from here select the regular polygon and select the number of corners to 6 move your mouse cursor towards the page and hold down the control key then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse towards the bottom of your page like this and to differentiate between the parts we can change the color so simply hold down the shift key and click on this orange color like this then select the selection tool and now we have to place this corner of this polygon at this bottom line of this rectangle for this purpose we have to turn on the snapping options so enable the snapping options by simply clicking on this icon then click on this icon which says snap nodes paths and handles and now we have to turn on two snapping options the first one snap to paths and the second one is snap to rectangle corners then drag your polygon towards the line like this then hold down the control key on your keyboard and also hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it towards the line like this. Now it doesn't need this rectangle so simply select it and press delete. Again select your polygon, go to fill and stroke menu and in the stroke style set the value of width to 70 and press enter. Then go to path and select stroke to path. Now select the circle tool. Hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button and draw a random circle like this. And from the fill and stroke menu simply set the value of width to say 20 pixels and press enter. Then select the selection tool. Simply deselect this option which says when scaling objects scale the stroke width by the same proportion. When we disable this option the stroke width of your circle remains same whether you increase or decrease the size then enable this lock option and set the value of height to say 260 pixels and press enter now select both of these parts go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select page then select on this center on vertical axis and also on center on horizontal axis then go to path and select stroke to path now we are done with the design of the nut and let's continue with the wings design. So again select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. This time we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key and clicking on this cross icon and assign it some solid color like this green color. Then select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and the height. First deselect this lock option by clicking on it then set the value of width to 260 pixels and for the height 
to just 80 pixels and press enter. Now right click and select duplicate then hold down the control key on your keyboard and also left mouse button on the duplicated copy and drag it in the downward direction like this. Then select the value of width to 170 pixels and press enter. Now press Z on the keyboard to select zoom in and out tool and select this area to zoom in. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this and assign it some different color like this red color. Then select the selection tool and set the value of width to say 30 pixels and press enter. Now drag this rectangle at this corner of the polygon like this. Right click and select duplicate then click on this icon to rotate the selection to 90 degrees and drag it towards this corner of this green rectangle. Select this bottom rectangle, hold down the control key then hold down your left mouse button and drag it towards the corner like this. Then select this red rectangle and press delete on the keyboard. Now select both of these parts, go to path and select union. Then select edit path by nodes tool, then go to path and select path effects. And here you can see that the path effects menu is appearing on the right side of your screen. Simply select this one, then select on this small plus icon and select the path effects of corners, fillet, chamfer. And you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every corner of the shape. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it towards the maximum value like this. Also select this one and drag it towards the corner like this. And once you are done with the rounding corners, simply go to path and select object to path. Now click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Then select the selection tool. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click once on the polygon. Then go to align and distribute menu. From the relative to select last selected and click on this icon which says center on horizontal axis like this. Then deselect both of these parts by clicking on the white area. Then select only the wings. Hold down the control key. Then hold down your left mouse button and drag it towards this vertical rectangle like this. Now select both of these parts, right click and select group. Again right click and select duplicate. Then hold down your left mouse button at the duplicated copy and drag it towards this corner of the polygon like this. Now right click and select ungroup. Also select this one, right click and select ungroup. Now select this red rectangle and press delete on the keyboard. Also this one and press delete. Now we are almost done with the design process. Now select all of these parts. Go to path and select union. Now to decrease the size simply hold down the control key. Then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it in the upward direction like this. Now select the create and edit text tool. Left click on the page and write the name of the logo which is wing nut. Again select the selection tool and to increase the size of this logo name simply hold down the control key and left mouse button on this handle like this. Now if you want to change the font then again select this create and edit text objects and here we have the option for the font. I will simply write the name for the desired font like I want to use Gotham. And you can see that the Gotham font is appearing in the menu. Simply click on this one. Then again select the selection tool and arrange it like this. Now select both of these parts and in the align and distribute menu. Simply click on this icon center on vertical axis. Then deselect both of these parts by clicking on the white area. Then select only the logo mark. Hold down the control key. Then left mouse button on this handle and decrease the size like this. Again select the text tool, left click on the page and write the text websites. Also change the font to Gotham and from the dimensions simply select normal. 
select the selection tool and increase its size like this select all of these parts then select center on vertical axis and also select on this icon which says equal vertical gaps and now we are done with our logo design process in Inkscape you can apply different color palettes and gradients of your own choice and now you can share your thoughts about the design in the comments section that whether you liked it or not or if you want to suggest any modifications and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day